we come to exercise number 36. We looked at the condition of the reed where we should do what, and we have to look now at the condition, natural condition of our mouth, where we should do what. So I have, a, again, a drawing, of course exaggerated, otherwise it makes no sense because you, you, you can not understand, but we see that, we see that the, I will show you in a while, don't uh, get nervous. <laughs> we will see that the teeth in the middle are the biggest. On the lower side, the teeth in the middle are the biggest. We will see that the reed in the center is the biggest and on both sides. And you will see also that exactly that center we should leave free. How is that possible when the teeth have this form and uh, when, when the reed has this form. Huh? So we have actually a situation that is uh, oh, it's difficult to show. Here we have the biggest and here we have the biggest. So it is encountered exactly there. We should not touch the reed. Where is the center of sound? So this is uh, not, we are not born as always. That's what is the ambush to fix this. So the, the picture, I come a bit nearer so we can see it better. The camera will adjust. You see the biggest teeth are in the middle, on both sides. You see the reed is the biggest in the center always, every reed in the world. Huh? And you see that the green zone that we should leave free is very in danger to be near the teeth or to be disturbed. So the ambush means this. Huh? I have to fix, I have to go in this direction to fix that problem. Hmm? Means I go from A to O or from O to U. Hmm? And if you if you try that <coughs> if you try that uh, with your lips. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah just this movement from outside to inside. So you will, will notice that somehow the lips are, are pressing a bit to the teeth so they get a bit wider. Strange feeling. So actually the teeth are closing and the lips are opening them. Mm -hmm. You feel that there's a bit pressure of the lips. This is ambush because we have to control the side of the reed. That's where we can do something and we have to let free the center. So this is the main the main uh, duty of the ambusher. So um, all kinds of different mouths, it doesn't matter. Anything is, I have never seen a mouth that is smaller than a reed. So it makes no sense to take the reed in and then to go to an A you know, and take away all the, all the nice flesh of the lips. But that to, should actually do this. You know? If I'm here, the teeth, and this is the lips, and I do this, you know, I push away a little bit the teeth, and I get space for the center of the reed. At the same time, if this is the reed, and this is my lip, I'm controlling the harmonics, letting free the center. No? So with that, I can play different colors, I can make diminuendos, and uh, this is a vital thing for, for the reed. So you could make, if just to make you believe that it's possible to have center of the mouth ambusher that leaves free the reed and controls the sides, you could go just as a tryout, you go to the to the staple of your reed and you do this. So not to take the reed, it's not for blowing, it's just for the form. Schäfer. Mm. I'll go a bit more in because I have not a read with cork, so but the one with cork, you can t you can also take the thread. It doesn't matter. Mm. What you f what you find out, also the read is quite thicker than the tip of, uh, also the staple is quite thicker than the tip of the read. You are able to to go around a staple with no problem. It means where is millimeters? 
you can have three while the tip of the reed is only one millimeter it gets a bit more to the inside but you you can control the reed in a way that in the center the green part as you saw in the first drawing is free and the red part is in your control it's not that we want always to have a boom boom boom, boom sound you know, wow wow we want to we want to be able to to react to the music but we need to control the side of the reed so actually your embouchure is this and not this thank you